Hello, can you hear me? Hello, good evening, everyone. What do you mean, everyone? I have how many students do I have today? I have only Monica. Hello, Monica. Hello. Hi, Miss Monica. Good evening. Good evening. What's going on? Are you are you home? Yes. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. I thought you were working. Um, hey, how's it going, Miss Monica? How's it going? Um, I don't understand. You don't understand. It's like, it's like, how are you, Miss Monica? How are you? Fine. But it's a, it's a different you. question. It's it's like a, it's a different question. Okay. Uh, I mean, I mean, it's a different uh, way to ask the same question. Do you understand? Yes. For example, you can ask, how are you? That's one way. You can say, you can ask, how are you doing? Repeat, how are you doing? How are you doing? Yes. You can ask, how is it going? Repeat, how is it going? How, eh, how do you spell that? Repeat, how do you spell that? How do you spell that? Well, let me chat it for you right now, okay? I'm going to put it on the chat for you. While we wait for your classmates. What happened with your classmates? Hey, yesterday there was a very uh, big storm in my area. So that's why I couldn't connect to class for some reason. How's it going? Like this. Can you see the chat, Miss? Can you see the chat? Yes, yes. Yes, thank you. My pleasure. So, Miss Monica, your goal, and Karen and Marilena, how are you? Welcome to the class. Your goal is not to ask the same question and the same question, how are you, how are you? No, make different questions, asking the same, right? How's it going? How are you doing? What's new? Repeat. What's new? That's another one. New. What's new? ¿Qué hay de nuevo? Ajá, ajá. What's new? Lo que pasa es que a veces siempre nos quedamos con el how are you, ¿verdad? Entonces, entonces, you have to speak. You have to use all your vocabulary. Tienen que usar todo lo que han aprendido. All your vocabulary. All your knowledge. I have a question. Oh, yeah. Welcome, Mr. Alex. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, go ahead. I have a question. ¿Cómo se dice que hay de nuevo, viejo, en inglés? <laughs> what's up, buddy? Like, what's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Yes, buddy. 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 Uh -huh. buddy. Y, y buddy significa... Como, como viejo, como en Spanish es like, yeah, como, como chero, como viejo. What's up? What's up, buddy? Ah, uh, what's up, buddy? That's similar to the, to the Looney Tunes, uh, the cartoons, uh -huh. right? Exactly. The rabbit. <laughs> rabbit. Uh <-huh. laughs> All right. Welcome to the English classes, everyone. I'm sorry, yesterday we had some internet uh, connections and electricity problems. Uh, that's why I was I was absent. Um, but today we are back. So I really appreciate your patience. Welcome to the class, everyone. Uh -huh. I can see many people logging in, such as Tatiana, Maria, Karen, Esmeralda. Welcome everyone. I'm happy to see you. Tell me, how are you? How are you doing? 
Good evening, teacher. I'm fine, thanks. How, how about you? I am ready. I am ready for you for your English class. <laughs> ready Thank to you, practice. Teacher. Thank you. Ready to take notes. Ready to ask questions. Ready to participate. Let's go, ladies. Let's go, gentlemen. Welcome to the class. Well, today we're going to open up our Insta for English manual. And we're going to uh, go to a conversation that we have over there. Let me share my screen with you. And we're going to continue, continue learning, sharing the language. Okay, there it goes. It says the objective today, um, here we go. We're going to, oops, let me move this uh, pop-up box over here. What happens is that I'm using two uh, monitors. I'm using my laptop and I have adapted another monitor because you know, there are many windows I have to have open. So today we're going to, again, review. We're going to practice present continuous for temporary uh, situations at the workplace. Um, what are temporary activities you are doing at your workplace these days? What about your coworkers? Uh, using present continuous, you can talk about temporary, temporary situations, temporary situations. For example, me, me, let me put you an example. I am teaching, present continuous, teach, teaching, yes, I am teaching an English course, yes. I am teaching an English course, basic module two. I am teaching an English course these days. Yes, I am teaching an English course at nights. That is a temporary, not action, but situation. Do you understand the difference? Yes. You want another example? Yes. Check the difference. Check the difference. Yes, Check the difference. Action happening right now. I am drinking coffee. I am drinking coffee right now. Yes. That is an action happening right now. Yes. My father is watching TV right now. My sister is working right now. But you can also speak about situations happening temporarily. Yes? For example, yep. my mother, and this is a true example. My mother is visiting. Visit? Yes? Visit? Present continuous? Visiting. My mother is visiting from the United States. Do you understand? That is a temporary situation. Action happening right now. Ah, I am receiving an English class. I am listening to my English teacher right now. I am having an English class online. Action happening right now. Situation, situation, temporary situation. Think, think about a temporary situation. Example, Roberto is working on a project.
Sería traducido como Roberto está trabajando en un proyecto. Yes. Okay. Eh, that is that is a temporary situation. Roberto is working today on that project. Roberto is working tomorrow on that project. And Roberto will continue working on that project until he finished that one. So, can you think about temporary situations? Yours or your coworker? For example, do you know how do you say in English capacitación? Training. Training. Excellent. Excellent. Good job. Thank you. Training. Training. Carlos is having, is, is attending. Attend. Repeat. Attend. Attend. Do you remember attend? Can you spell attend for me, please? Can you spell attend for me? A it it you surrender it. you surrender <laughs> attend a t a, t, e, t e, e, e m n, d. d attend attend do you remember attend present okay. continuous what is the present continuous ending Attending. attending okay thank you so carlos is attending a training in canada these days these days this month is happening this period of time is a temporary situation yes can you try um, to, to speak about a temporary situation you are doing right now? Yes? Or, 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 or your co-workers? You have any question? Let me know. Welcome, welcome. Uh-huh. For example, this English course, this is a temporary situation. Can you establish the example? ¿Cómo podemos establecer el ejemplo para comenzar con eso? I get up. No, I get, I get in, I get in, I get in the class of the speak English. We are studying English. We are studying English. Okay, if I say uh, we are studying English right now, that is an action happening right now. Si lo, si lo queremos establecer como una situation, situation, temporary situation, we're studying an English course, an English course this month. Check the chat. We are, we are, you and I, everybody, we are studying an English course this month. Is that an action happening right now or a temporary action? Temporary. Temporary action. My mother is traveling to El Salvador these days. Temporary action. 
temporary situation. What are you what are you working right now, guys? What are you doing right now? Huh? I know that you're not only studying English, some of you are studying at the university too. Yes or no? Some of you maybe are going through a process at work. Yeah, to get a different position. Yes, etc. So what are you doing? What are you doing? Temporary situations. Can somebody give one example? Personal example, true example. With this course English, I am getting the other position in my work this year. Fantastic. This year. Listen to that. This year. This year. Any point? Any point during the, the rest of the year? Right? August, September, October, November, December. Certain point over there. So that is a temporary situation. Bingo. Somebody else? What are you into? What are you into? En que andan? Ojo, esa pregunta eh, into, what are you into? A ver, ¿en qué andan? Como que, ¿en qué anda usted? Eh? What are you into? <laughs> what are you into? Talk to me, talk to me. Are you working on any project? Are you working on any idea? Are you studying something aside than the English course? I don't know. Volunteers? Okay. Maybe you are quiet today we are going to go through the conversation and you may have better ideas to answer this question okay can you please listen let me make it a little bigger okay that's best okay we're going to go through the conversation okay please listen and repeat hi beth Long time no see. Hi, hi Beth. Beth, long time no see. Long time no see. How are you? Long time no see. How are you? How are you? How are you? Long time no see. How are you? Long time no see. How are you? Long time no see. How are you? How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing these days? Hello, Hello Ever. Hello, what, what are you doing, are you doing, doing these, these days? days? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project. I am, I am okay. okay. I am working, I am working, working on a new project. New project. And also, additional information, and also, I am taking an English course these days. And, and also, also, I am I'm taking an English course these days. Day. I am taking. I am taking. I am taking. The base is take. Third person takes. Progressive taking. 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 Taking.
How about Excellent. you? How Good about pronunciation. You? How about you? Repeat. How about, How about you? you? How about you? How about you? How about you? Guys, muy buena pronunciación. Okay, repeat. That sounds great. That sounds great. Great. That sounds 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 great. Porque eso suena, estoy hablando en tercera persona, ¿verdad? That sounds great. What a coincidence. What a coincidence. What a coincidence. Put it together. What a coincidence. What a what a what a coincidence. What a coincidence. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. English is essential these days. These days, okay. I know. Repeat. I know, I know, I know. Colleague, a colleague, a colleague. What is what is a colleague? One, right? One, a colleague, colleague. who completed who the course. Repeat, a colleague who completed the course. Completed the course. The course. A colleague who completed the course is is, is taking. taking a, tra a training, training, training in, in England, England these days. Taking a training these days. These days. Do you do you do you understand the context? Do you understand what's happening? Yes. Yes. One colleague, one coworker. What is the meaning of colleague? Colega. Correcto. A colleague who completed who finished the English course is taking a training in England, in England, in Europe. These days, imagine English can definitely open doors. And Beth says, you right. Repeat, you right. You right. right. It's like, it's like, you are correct. Yes. You're right. You're right. You're right. I am studying on my own. 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 On my own. Es como por mi cuenta. Yeah? On my own. You know. You know. Y ahí una muletilla, ¿verdad? You know. You know, you know, um, I am, I am, I am reading, reading. I reading. am reading novels, reading okay. novels. to I have, am reading to novels. have direction, to have, to have better, better results, better results, 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 results. Yes. Do you have any question about this conversation? Do you have any question? No. Okay. Okay. In that case, I have questions for you. My first question is, Who is taking a training in England? Who is taking a training in England? The completed course. I'm sorry? Completed, completed the course. Who? Who yeah. is? Ever. Who? Ever. Ever. Ever? 
ever said a colleague, he didn't say me. He didn't say a colleague. Colleague. Un colega de él. Colleague. Colleague. Entonces podemos decir Evers. Evers a colleague. Ponemos un apóstrofe, una S para el posesivo. Ok. Y luego colleague. Colleague. Evers oh. colleague. Repeat. Evers. Ever ¿Qué estamos diciendo? Ever. El colega de Ever. De... Correct, correct, correct. Ok, uh, can you tell me, can you tell me what is Ever doing these days? He's, He's working, working on a new project. Correct, Ever is working on a new project. Guys, cuando agregamos información adicional, also, repeat, also, also additional also, information, okay? Also, he's taking, also, he's taking an English course. Yes. Also, yes. además. Es como, correcto, como a, a, además, como a, Adicionalmente, y también significa también, correcto. Excellent. Uh -huh. Vamos al drill. Teacher Kalev is going to interpret Beth's role, and all the students will interpret Ever's role. Are you ready? Yes. Ok, yes. recuerden, recuerden los que no tienen interferencia, you can use your microphone, así yo puedo corregirles su pronunciación, los que sí tienen como background noise, que tienen ahí ruidito, entonces siempre repitan, pero con su microphone eh, deactivated, ¿ok? Are you ready? Yes. Students start with ever. Three, two, one, go. Hi, Hi Hello guys. Mm, what are you doing these days? I am okay. I am okay. Well, I'm working on English course. English is essential at the work day. Te me fuiste, te me fuiste. Wait, wait, wait. It's my turn. It's my turn. That Sorry. sounds great. <laughs> what a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know. I know. I I taking a training in England this day. You're right. I am studying on my own, you know. I am reading novels to have better results. Good job, people. Let's switch. I start now and you will interpret Beth's role. Three, two, one. Let's go. Hi, guys. Long time no see. How are you? Hello. Hello. Hello, Ever. What are you doing these days? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project. And also, I am taking an English course these days. How about you? That, that sounds great. great. But the point for the coincidence, I am also taking an English course. English, English is essential at the workplace these days. English essential. At the work I know. You know, a colleague who completed the course is taking a training in England these days. You're right. You're right. I am studying on my own. I am reading all my I am reading all my Better results. 
Results. Results. A ver, algunas palabritas que escuché ahí, algo eh, que debemos corregir. Let me see. Project. Estamos bien con project. Let me see. Acá por acá. Bueno, acá en esta pregunta. Ok. How about you? Repeat. How about you? 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 Practice How this question. You? Esta pregunta necesito que la practiquen y la digamos natural. How about you? How about you? Vamos a acá. Coincidence. 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 How do you say que coincidencia? What a coincidence. <laughs> What a coincidence. Ok, ok, ok. A... Um, esencial. How do you say esencial? Essential. Essential. Very good. Essential. Colega. How do you say colega? Colleague. 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 Very well. Very well. Okay, okay, okay. Nice job, people. Nice job. Let me stop sharing. Let me stop sharing. We're going to um check or go over the attendance, okay? Thank you for your participation so far. So far, so good. Okay, so let's wait for this one to load. All right, do we have uh, in the house Mr. Alex Enoch Ramirez Salazar? Present, teacher. All right, thank you. Do we have Mr. Douglas Humberto Sanchez Diaz? Yes, I am here. Okay, one second. Oops. There you go. Okay, thank you. Edith Adilia Hernandez Chacon. Edwin Alexis Rodriguez Cortez. Present teacher. Very well. What's up, Edwin? I am fine. All right, good to know. Esmeralda, Abigail Santos Samaya. Irvin Joel Moran Gonzalez. Josué Eduardo Gutierrez Alguero. Present teacher. Josué, okay, Josué, welcome. Julio Cesar Caridad Valiente. Present teacher, good night. Awesome. Good evening, sir. We're happy to see you in the class, sir. Thank you. All right. Um, Karen Elizabeth Ramos Aguilar. Laura Guadalupe Present Fuentes teacher. de Melendez. Oh, okay. Present. Perfect. How are you, Laura? Are you okay? I'm fine. Thank you. How all are you? Right, all right. I'm okay. I'm okay. I don't know. For some reason, uh, I I thought that you are sick, but you're not sick, are you? No, right? No. Okay, good, 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 good. Maria Elena Linares Diaz. Present. Oh, why, Maria Elena? And Mario Alberto Hernandez Vasquez. Monica Maricela Martinez Pineda. Present. Patricia Beatriz Bonilla Lopez. Present teacher. Excellent. Ramon Antonio Escoto Abarca. Hello, teacher. Excellent. Oops. Here, here, here. All right, perfect. And Roberto Antonio Ramirez Gonzalez. And Tatiana Vanessa Escobar Ortiz. Present teacher. 
Wonderful. Edwin Alexis Rodriguez Cortez. Are you can you hear me, Alexis? Yes, I am here. Ok, Edwin, eh, te quedas este día 10 minutos después de la clase, castigado, ok. <risa> ok. <risa> no, vamos a tener un coaching tú y, tú y tu servidor, ok, donde te vamos a dar una asesoría uh, personalizada. Solo son 10 minutos, ok. okay. All right, very well. Y para el día de mañana quería consultar antes de iniciar de lleno. Quiero ver quién está acá. Josué, Josué. Josué Gutiérrez, Eduardo. Josué, can you hear me? Mr. Gutiérrez, ya se me fue. Bueno, entonces dejemos hasta ahí. Ok, very well, very well. Thank you guys. Thank you for your uh, responsibility. Let's go back. Let's go back to the book. Right here. Where are you, my dear book? Right here. Ok, so we have a couple of questions. We have a couple of questions. Let me scroll down a little bit. And we're going to go over the first questions, okay? And uh, let's go over the per work. Okay, let's go over the per work. Let me see, Mr. Edwin, help me here. Get in pairs. Get in pairs and discuss the following questions. Okay, number one, please, sir. Number one, what are some of the things ever and bet are doing these days? Okay, okay. What are what are some things that Ever and Beth are doing these days? Who remembers? Who remembers? They are taking English class. Correct. They are in they are taking English classes. Yes, that's totally correct. Thank you. Let's go over question number two, uh, Maria Elena. Question two, can you help us? What things do you have in common with the people in the conversation? Mm, interesting question. Do you have anything in common? Mm? Do you have anything in common with Ever and Beth? No, you have nothing in common. I am talking English. You're taking an English course also. <laughs> they are taking an English course, coincidentally. And you are taking an English course also, right? So that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Thank you so much for your participation. So let's continue. It says, how to use present continuous for temporary uh, situations. Uh, help me reading, Monica. Are you there, Monica? Help me reading here, okay? Go ahead. Use the present continuous for temporary situation. The expression these days, and at the moment are often used to emphasize, emphasize emphasize the temporary aspect of the activity. Thank you. And let's analyze that. It says when you give an example and at the end you place this expression, these days, yes? Or for example, this expression, at the moment, yes, you emphasize that this is a temporary situation. If we go back to the conversation, yes, he says, Eva says, I am taking an English course these days. This is a temporary situation. Why? Because of this expression. Es diferente que diga esto que yo diga right now. Right now is like ahorita, like ya. Right? So, 
Incluso eso, ¿verdad? El, 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 el marcador del tiempo cambia el contexto. So be careful on that. Let's go over on examples. Over the examples, please, Mr. Do. Examples, number one, please. Mr. Sanchez. Hello, hello. Go ahead and help us reading example number one, please. Okay, I am reading a new book this day. Give me, give me the, give me the plural here. These days. These days. Mm -hmm. So, this is a temporary activity. Activity. I'm sorry, because the person, the person, will, will finish. Finish reading, reading the book. book. So that's why it's temporary situation. Thank you, Laura Fuentes. Help us reading number two, please. Um, eh, todo el número dos tengo que leer. Yes, you understand me. Hmm. Wendy is Wendy is having have having a meeting. At this moment, the meeting will, will finish sooner or later. Excellent, Lara, excellent. Wendy is having, okay, having, have, having, Wendy is having a meeting at this moment, at this moment. I don't know. It could be sooner or later. Repeat. Sooner or later. Sooner or later. What is the meaning of sooner or later? Tarde o temprano. Es como decir tarde o temprano en Spanish. O sea, tarde o temprano ella está pues en la reunión. So... That is a situation, right? And number three, let's go over example number three, please, Mr. Alex. Here? Yes, number three, please. We are taking an English course. The course will end. Correct. This month, this course will end. So that's why it's a temporary situation. We are taking an English course. But for this temporary situation, we use the present continuous, okay? Okay. So do you have any question about temporary situations? I want you to prepare one example right now. I want you to prepare one personal example right now to explain a temporary situation and then you share with the class. Yes? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Prepare one temporary situation who has a temporary situation now or do you need time to think about it okay i'm gonna give you what three minutes tres minutos está bien para que me lo preparen bien It's okay? It's okay, teacher. Okay, I'm going to give you three minutes. I just need one example similar to this one. Similar. It's personal example. Bueno, si quieren hablarme de algo que están haciendo en su trabajo, también sería muy interesante, ¿verdad? Que me, que me cuenten algo, alguna uh, duty, alguna tarea laboral que estén haciendo en el trabajo sería super duper pero eh, se los dejo ahí a, a su criterio si lo quieren hacer así work related o personal no problem I'll give you three minutes now pero necesito que todos me hagan un temporary situation using the present continuous three minutes let's go Thank you. 
let's let's uh, share let's share okay i'm gonna share my notepad but i want to make this handwriting bigger so we can visualize it better here 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 three two one there you go I'm gonna give it 20. Okay, people, I'm gonna share my screen so you can share your product because we want to know, we want to know what you're doing these days. Es diferente, guys, que yo les diga. What are you doing right now? Yes? What are you doing right now? Repeat. What are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? Right now. You will uh, you will answer you will answer oh I am having an English class. Yes, because right now. Okay. But if I ask you what are you doing these days? It's different. Yes? Do you understand? Yes. Okay, 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 okay. So it's different. Let's go with your examples. Let's just start with Patricia. What's your example? What are you doing these days, Patricia? Okay, teacher. Um, I am running every afternoon. I am taking English class these days. These days, these days, um, I am reading the Bible. Reading, reading. I am reading the Bible every night. Wonderful! <laughs> Applauses for her. Ooh, you rock and roll, lady. You rock and roll. Several activities, many activities. Good job, Patricia. Thanks. Let's go with Julio. What do you have for us, Julio? What are you doing these days, Julio? Are you busy? Many activities? Uh huh. Share, share, share. I am. I am preparing to be father. <gasps> Congratulations! A Thank you, mother. Oh my God, you're preparing to be a father. <laughs> yes. What a surprise! Me pegó ese ejemplo, Mister. Okay. Interesting. Congratulations, Julio. Try your best, future father. And what about Mario, Mario Hernandez? What do you have, Mario? Mario? Okay, let's go with uh, Raymond Scotto. Hello, teacher. What are you doing these days, sir? Tell us the secret. <laughs> In my work, uh, my my temporary situation is uh, I am working to recuperate taxes to the city hall in these moments. To recuperate taxes um, for the city hall. What city hall? San Esteban, Catarina. Okay, so you, what do you do? Are you an accountant? Um, I, I work in, in I say, llevar el control and make a recibos. Bills. Bills. So that sounds like accounting. Oh, no, eso es como billing. Billing, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. that's, your, that's your area. Usted trabaja con los recibos, las cuentas. 
Correct. Que pongan al día, etc. Oh, okay, thank you, sir. Thank you for the information. Let's continue with uh, Esmeralda. Amaya, can you? No? Okay, let's go with um, Tatiana. Usted no me ha dado ejemplo, ¿verdad, Miss? No, Escobar? Okay, please go ahead. I am sending report this, this day. Mm, you're sending report these days. So, eso significa que esto no lo hace siempre, ¿verdad? Es a temporary situation, right, Miss Tatiana? No es que yeah. lo hace todo el mes, ¿verdad, Miss? No. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So applies definitely is a correct example. Good job. And personally, Miss, any personal example, Miss Tati? Solo, solo, bueno, solamente esa hice. Estoy Let's tratando see. de sí, porque no, no entiendo muy bien así como que la definición de cada una, como del Digamos, como dice que es temporal porque no se hace siempre. O sea, es solamente... no, eh, temporal porque, lo, porque, porque es por un periodo de tiempo, ¿verdad? O se hace un mes, seis meses, whatever. Como una vacación que es temporal, ¿ya? O una capacitación que es temporal. Right? O un English course como este, ¿verdad? Que es temporal. Temporary. But good job, Mr. Tiana. Let's go with Miss Karen Ramos. Do you have an example for us? Or maybe more than one? Karen? No? Let's go with Alex. I'm doing homework, teacher. Oh, you're doing homework these days. Acuérdese que si le pone these days, ahí la hacemos temporary. O si le pone at the moment. At the moment, yeah? At the moment. You're doing homework at the moment? Oh, excuse me. You are a very good student, miss. Good job. Good job. Do your homework. <laughs> okay, what about Alex Ramirez? Go ahead. What are you doing these days, sir? Yes, teacher, uh, I am asking a question of the test in the moment. At the moment. At the at, moment. At the moment. All right, thank you. Nice job. Josue Gutierrez, are you in the house? Hello, teacher. Do you have an example for us? Yeah. I am preparing the agenda to the next weekend at this moment. At the moment. Oh, okay. You're preparing the agenda. Nice job. Nice job. Let me see. Laura, do you have an example? What are you doing these days? Uh, I am take a call the the drums. Taking. Taking. Uh, I am taking a course the drums. Okay, I am taking a course of the drums. Of drum. drums. Really, Miss? Like. Yes. So you know how to play that instrument. You like that instrument? The drums? Yeah. yeah. Really? Okay, you're <laughs> gonna give a demonstration, right? Soon, okay. soon, soon. <laughs> All right, thank you for the example. Mr. Douglas Sanchez, go ahead. Hello, teacher. What are you doing these days, sir? My, ex my example is personal. Okay, I perfect. Am... I am preparing to travel tomorrow. I am preparing to travel tomorrow. To travel tomorrow. Okay, okay. 
Okay, yeah, that sounds like a very temporary situation. No problem. What about you, Maria Elena? Do you have an example for us? Or more examples? Yes, um, I, I am cooking for the lunch these days. Uh, and I, I am resting in this week. You're resting this week. Yes, nice. because my boss is going to Germany. Okay, because, because your boss is going, is... going to, no, is that? Is staying. Staying in Germany. Nice, nice. And those are two temporary situations. Yes. yes. Um, or you can use visit. Is it like a business visit? Es como una eh, eh, visita de negocios, ¿verdad, Miss? Laboral, no. ¿verdad? No. 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 It's personal. It's personal. It's, yeah. Family. It's family related. Yes. Ok, entonces usemos el verbo stay. Stay. Eh, ING, staying. Same. Because my boss is staying in Germany. Okay. Cuando usted quiere decir debido a una situación familiar y dar como una razón, vamos a usar do to. Aprendamos esa expresión, chicos. Do to. Ya It's es para family. especificar más, ¿verdad? Eh, do to a family. Do to a family situation. Yes. Okay. Do to a family situation okay perfect thank you what about you um edwin do you have an example for us my exam is i am listening to music this day i am listening me le puso el ing ahí si i am listening to music this day okay these days póngame la ahí days these days these days, these days. Is definitely a temporary situation. Monica, do you have one example for us? I am cleaning my bedroom tomorrow. That's good. That's good. That's a temporary situation. So I think I, you can now. I'm sorry. I am going to the beach these days. Perfect. I am going to the beach these days. Quiere decir sooner or later, alguno de estos días, tarde o temprano, right? That is a temporary situation that is going to happen. Very nice job. Very nice job. Congratulations for your participation, people. Very good job. Let me see. Let me scroll down. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So let me stop sharing this one. We're going to leave this one for tomorrow. And we're going to go to the other platform. Give me one second while it loads. Mm -hmm. One second, please. A ver, había un par de uh, participantes que me debían lo de la presentación de la última clase, ¿verdad? ¿Verdad, chicos? ¿Sí o no? Yes. yes. Remember. Hmm. Usando, ¿qué estamos usando? There is and there are. Fantastic. No, si no crean, si siempre ahí. <laughs> Me acuerdo, I remember, I remember. Entonces quizás vamos a cumplir con ese um, objetivo. Creo que ahí estaba Raymond, ¿verdad? Raymond estaba María Elena, right? Yes. 
Awesome. Ok, ¿quién más estaba ahí? Creo que Julio, probablemente Mario, right? So vamos a comenzar with ladies. Vamos a ver, Marilena, are you ready? Talking about your house, talking about your uh, furniture, using their is and their are, plural and singular. Okay, um, my house is very big, and my house are are the, the these these are four bedrooms. There are there are four bedroom. bedrooms. Bedrooms, and there are five beds, and there is a, a dog, there are uh, two cats. Repeat, there repeat, are, repeat, repeat. There are two, two cats. Okay, 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 okay. There are two birds. Birds. birds? Birds. And there are, no, there is a, oh, yes, no, no. Gallina en inglés, me olvidó. Hens, no. There is a hen. A nice. Hen. Yeah, because um, chicken is pollo, ¿verdad, Miss? So gallina is there, hen. And there are two chickens. Oh, there are two chickens. Yes. What about a rooster? Is there a rooster? No sé qué me dijo, perdón. Is, is there a rooster? Gallos. Ah, gallo. Rooster. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. There is a rooster. Yes. Excellent. And there, there are, there are three TVs. And and there are three sisters. Three sisters. Yes. Wow. Are there any brothers? No, I not. No. No, they aren't. There aren't. Very good. There aren't. Wow, only ladies. Yes, Ooh. and I am a, a daughter. You're a daughter. Oh, nice, yes. nice, nice, nice. Women power, huh? Women power, huh? <laughs> yes. Nice, Miss. Congratulations. You comply with the time. Good job. Good job. Do you understand singular and plural? Yes. Using there is and there are. Muy buen trabajo usando el artículo a y an cuando estaba diciendo usted la, la, la parte singular, Miss. Congratulations. Thank you. Póngase ahí un happy face ahí, Miss, para que. Okay, very well. Good job, Marilena. Let's go with Raymond Escoto. Talking about your house. 90 seconds. 90 seconds. Let's go. Okay. In my house, there is a TV. There is a sofa. There is a car. There is a stufa, stuff. There is a fridge, refrigerator. Yes. There are some pets. Uh, there are two children. Nice. There are two bedrooms. I'm sorry? There are two bedroom. Bedrooms. Bedrooms. Okay. There are some computers. Excellent. There is not uh, sorry. There is not I don't remember. <laughs> there is no TV in the bedroom. You can say there, are, there is no TV. There is no TV in the bedroom. Okay. There are no shoes 
in the kitchen. Okay, okay. <laughs> there aren't any cats in my house. And there isn't motorcycle in my house. I'm Finish. sorry, there isn't the last one, the last one. Repeat the last one. There isn't motorcycle in my house. Okay, okay. There isn't a motorcycle. A motorcycle in my house. Okay. Hey, outstanding job, Ramon. Hey, creo que solo ese último se me le escapó con el artículo A, ah, ¿verdad? ¿Verdad que los tiene ahí escritos? Yes. Puede verificar ahí, ¿verdad? Que los demás sí los tenía. Porque si sí. me lo dijo. Ok, 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 ok. Vaya, lo felicito. Excedió aquí el, el tiempo. Eh, llegó casi a los dos minutos. Nice job. Um, eh, atención ahí con los singulares. Siempre que no se nos escape ese A or an, aunque veo que usted lo domina muy bien. So, congratulations también en los plurales. Igual, creo que a todos nos está pasando que a veces ese detallito de la letra S, guys, se nos va a pronunciarlo y es sumamente importante. Pues estamos hablando de un plural. Ok, entonces siempre, siempre, siempre atención ahí. Cuando esté la letra S, you pronounce the letter S. Ok. okay. Five bedrooms. Yes. So you repeat the letter S at the end. Good job. Fantástico trabajo. Vamos a ver quién más me debía. Mónica, usted me debía, ¿verdad, Mónica? Yes. Ah, <risa> <risa> ya. Ok, Miss Mónica, permítanme que voy a poner aquí el tiempo que me gusta ver si, si cumplimos ahí el tiempo. Mi. Despacito, Miss, oiga. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Los demás que me faltan, me, me levantan la mano ahí, porfa. Virtual, virtual hand up. Let's go, Mónica. My house, there is uh a kitchen there is a sofa there are two tvs uh, there are four chairs there is a table there is a refrigerator there are three Bedrooms. There are two bathrooms. Um, there are three mirrors. Three what? Three what? Three mirrors. Espejos. Mirrors. 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 Singular. Singular. A mirror. A mirror. A mirror. A mirror. Plural. Mirrors. Mirrors. There are three mirrors. Um, there is a car. There is a dog. There is a one sisters. Repeat, repeat, repeat the last one. Repeat the last one. There is a one sister. Um, ahí estamos usando algo de más. ¿Qué there será? Is a, there is a sister. Yes. <laughs> there Next. Is, um, there is. ¿Cómo se hace así a microondas? Microwave Micro oven. Microwave oven. Mm -hmm. okay. Quiero ver. There is a computer. There is a garden. Nice. Is there a garage? There is a garage. There it's... is, there are, there are three beds. Three beds, nice. Three beds. Is there a second floor? Yes, there is. I'm so happy with you. You finish? 
You finish. Miss, ¿casi has hecho los tres minutos, Miss? Oh my God. Take it easy. Wow, nice job, Miss. Congratulations. Mire, qué bonita le quedó la presentación. Eh, usando there is and there are, estoy así amazed con uh, su resultado. Es prácticamente nulo la, la observación que le he hecho con todo lo que usted me expresó. Um, muy buen trabajo en los singulares, los plurales, pronunciando lo de la letra S. Eh, me encanta cuando ustedes se autocorrigen, ¿verdad? Ustedes ya saben dónde está el... Ya no les digo yo dónde está el error. Ya saben ustedes, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, o decimos one o decimos a, right? Uno de dos. Es más común decir a, right? Um, de acuerdo a lo que hemos estudiado. Así que, Miss, sigamos adelante, Miss. Tenemos ahí bastantes esperanzas en una futura bilingüe ahí, al igual que sus compañeros. Vámonos, ¿con quién vamos? Nadie más me levantó la mano, no me hagan trampa. Mm. Sigo entonces, diciendo nombres. Sigo. ¿Quién más me preparó algo usando there is and there are? Mario, ¿estás por ahí, Mario? Hernández. Yes or no. Laura, usted nos tiene mis, mis fuentes. Eh, fíjese, teacher, que yo no estuve ese día en la clase, pero ahorita medio hizo un ejemplo. Excelente. Mire, mis, yo quiero que se tome su tiempo porque yo realmente quiero medir esta parte con por lo menos 90 segundos. ¿Qué uh -huh. dice? ¿Me lo, ¿Me lo da mañana? ¿Lo prepara? ¿Lo presenta mañana, mis? Sí, mejor así entonces. Perfecto, mis. Así me completa y me habla más de su casita. Así yo me hago como una foto, right? Mientras okay. usted me está dando uh, la presentación. Recuerde los singulares y los plurales. Recuerde que puede... A ver esa clase uh, que está grabada ahí en la plataforma, ¿ok? Ok, gracias. Excelente. Bueno, entonces, Douglas, ¿tú estás solvente, Douglas Sánchez? Yeah, sí, yeah. estamos, estamos, sí, Douglas está, Raymond ya está, Ed, Edwin, what about you, Edwin? Mm. Edwin Rodríguez. Sí. sí, sí, también, ¿verdad? Es cierto. Sí, sí ya estuvo. Ya estuvo, ok, perfecto. Y Julio, Julio Caridad. ¿Tienes tu presentación using there is and there are, Julio? Yes, yeah, sorry. Here I am. All right, yeah. awesome. Wait, 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 let me check the time. Okay. Put the time right here. And let's go. All right. In my house, there are three bedrooms. There is a kitchen. There is a large garage. There is a backyard and there is a front patio. There are three bedrooms. There are two in the bedrooms and there is one for visits. There are three dogs and three, and there is a cat. That's it? That's it. Ay, que como me lo dijiste bien rápido. You were very fast. Okay, you got 40 seconds out of 90 Sorry. seconds. It's okay. It's okay. Porque me dijiste bastante información y tu pace fue más rápido. Okay. So that's okay. It's acceptable. I actually don't have any observation. Everything you said was correct. Good pronunciation and good grammar, Julio. Congratulations for you. Thank you. Keep the great job up, okay? Keep the great job up. Esmeralda Maya, estamos ahí, Esmeralda. With there is and there are. 
Patricia, no, Patricia is okay, right? Patricia, you're okay. Sí, teacher, ayer lo hice. Antier, quiero decir. <laughs> ¿Cómo se dice antier? Ajá, uh -huh. ¿cómo se dice antier? Mm. I don't know. <laughs> the day. The last, no, the last. Before. Day. The day before yesterday. Yes. Correct. The day before yesterday. The day before yesterday. All right. Good job, Patricia. Good job. What about Karen Ramos? Miss Karen Ramos? Bueno, chicos. Entonces, ay, ah, Josué, ¿crees que lo puedes hacer, Josué? O oh, te puedo dar también para que lo presentes mañana. Yo necesito 90 segundos para cumplir mi, mi objetivo. Yo lo hice ese día, teacher. Ah, sí, lo hiciste, es cierto. Y Esmeralda dice... No. Esmeralda, ¿tienes problemas de audio, Miss? ¿Es Amaya? I know, Miss, con esto de la tecnología, right? We have problems most of the times. Bueno. Eh, quería hablar con ustedes respecto a la evaluación del último día, right? Porque quiero que pues les quede un poquito de tiempo para um, prepararse. Let me see. El último día, pues prácticamente eh, como ustedes lo hicieron en el módulo anterior, llenarán una encuesta de satisfacción en línea, ¿verdad? Y aparte de eso, pues con su servidor eh, van a tener su evaluación. Eh, a mí lo que me interesa, al igual que ustedes, es que ustedes hablen inglés. Más que cualquier otra cosa, más que cualquier otro skill, mi objetivo es que ustedes hablen inglés, que produzcan el idioma, que digan eh, la mayor cantidad de información posible. Entonces, eh, Tomando en cuenta que hemos cancelado eh, por problemas de electricidad dos fechas, la fecha de finalización se va a um, posponer. Estaba para el 26. Entonces, viendo el calendar, agregando dos días, 29, 30. El 30, el martes 30 de agosto estamos terminando nuestro básico módulo 2. Pónganlo en su agenda, right? Ese día, pues, haremos nuestro um, presentation que desde ahora, pues, van a tener más de una semana, pues, para prepararse. Entonces, lo vamos a hacer en pareja. Yo suponía que... Ustedes podrían hacer sus parejas o no sé si ustedes gustan que su servidor los, los distribuya, pero eh, ahí ustedes me dicen, ustedes mandan porque la presentación va a ser así. Ustedes van a tener cinco minutos de conversación con su pareja, con su colleague, con su classmate. Entonces tienen que conversar por cinco minutos, right? Desde saludos, asking questions, anything like that. Usando todo lo que hemos visto, right? Y pues dando nuestro mejor esfuerzo para brillar ese día. Entonces, uh, ¿qué me dicen chicos? Ustedes escogen sus parejas. No sé si ustedes ya se conocían del módulo anterior. Puede ser, I don't know. Que tenga usted su friend acá o no. What do you say? Suggestions, opinions. Pues yo opino que hagan las parejas ustedes. Yo soy nuevo, no conozco a nadie. Ah, en serio, ok. Este es tu primer módulo acá con nosotros. Sí, yo vengo de presencial. Ah, excelente, ok. Y hasta ahorita, ¿cuál, ¿cómo sientes la diferencia? Igual. ¿Sientes igual? Sí. Ok, ok, that's good. Qué bien que no has sentido así algo negativo, ¿verdad? Ok, that's nice, that's nice. Entonces, eh, 
Bueno, ahorita estamos, ¿cuántos? Let me see. Y Mónica, ¿qué opina, Miss Mónica? Lo hacemos nosotros. Ok, perfecto. Las hacen ustedes, entonces. Sí, sí. Dígame, Julio, adelante. Quizá, eh, no sé, cómo está de moda también lo híbrido. Si algunas personas se conocen y pueden hacer pareja, tal vez proponen su pareja y el resto podríamos esperar a que usted pues, nos asigne. Porque como en el caso que ha mencionado el compañero, yo pues igual... Eh, Quizá, pues no conozco a todos y, y de repente yo puedo elegir a alguien. Bueno, al menos yo no tengo así a alguien ya, ya, ya por, para seleccionar. ¿verdad? Cierto. Muy cierto. Tenés toda la razón. Entonces, hagámoslo así. Este, vamos a dejar este periodo para los que se conocen y pueden ponerme acá en el chat con quién van a trabajar. Right. Y los que queden pues ahí disponibles en el chat ahí del WhatsApp les voy a compartir mañana con quién irían. Quizás hagamos eso primero para mañana pues explicarles a detalle lo que yo espero en esa presentación. ¿Les parece? Esto sería para el siguiente viernes, teacher. Esto sería para el último día de, uh, de clases que sería el 30. Si no estoy equivocado. Sería el 30, martes 30 de agosto. Entonces vas okay. a tener como que más de una semana para preparar tu presentación con tu compañero. Es speaking, es oral practice. No se preocupen que aquí no les vamos a dejar, bueno, su servidor no les va a dejar una tarea de investigar qué esto y esto. No, yo lo que quiero es que me hablen, que me produzcan. Julio, ¿tenías una consulta? Sí, perdón, fíjese que yo sigo sin estar en el chat y no me quisiera perder las últimas indicaciones. Oh, my God. Vaya, el, el chat, fíjate que te voy a mandar el link porque eh, usualmente te mandan el link en el primer correo. Pero, I understand, yo entiendo que es mucha información, así que que let me share the link with you aquí lo voy a compartir ok me avisa si todo está bien le das clic ahí click on it and you have to be in ok chicos entonces me van poniendo ahí con quién van a ir ustedes while I share the next topic for tonight All right, excellent, 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 excellent. Ok, eh, respecto a las tareas, también espero que todos vayan ahí completando sus tareas. Recuerden que es um, una tarea por clase. Esta sería nuestra clase número 12. Entonces tendrían que ser 12 tareas completadas. Les pido que pues no vayan dejando eso atrás. Mejor ir pues avanzando, ¿verdad? Si ustedes pueden avanzar, genial. Uh, si no, pues traten de ir al día, right? Porque atrasarse es negativo. So keep an eye on that. Julio, tú tienes acceso a la plataforma, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Perfect, perfect. Ok, people, let's talk about, let's talk about food. Huh? Let's talk about food. Can you give examples? Can you give examples of, of um, food? Can you give examples of vegetables? Can you give examples of fruits? Do you remember? Potato. Potato. Potato, okay. Tomato. Tomato. What else? How do you say lechuga? Lettuce. Lettuce. Good job. Lettuce. Lemon. 
Lemon, okay. Strawberry. Well, let's go to fruits. Strawberry is fruit, okay. And cucumber. Cucumber. Cucumber, it's a, it's a vegetable. I love cucumbers. How about avocado? Avocado, do you like avocado? Yes. Yes. Yes, like it. I love it, okay. What else, what else? Mangoes. More, more fruits, mangoes. More fruits, more fruits. Watermelon. Watermelon, definitely. Yummy, yummy. Grapes. 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 Pineapple. Pineapple, yes. Pineapple. Orange. Orange. Okay, perfect. Beer. Talk about food. Talk about food. Talk about food. Give okay. examples. What in middle? What about frijoles? How do you say frijoles? Beans. 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 Hmm. Beans. Mm -hmm. What about arroz? Rice. 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 <clears throat> what about um, carne? Un filete de carne. Beef. Beef. <laughs> Beef. <laughs> Beef. You're hungry, bro. Okay. Beef. Okay, how about, how about huevos? Eggs. 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 How about aceite? Oil. 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 How about eh, mantequilla? Butter. Butter. Very good. Butter. <laughs> How about crema? Cream. Cream. How about queso? Cheese. 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 How about galletas saladas? Uh oh. Another cracker. Crackers. <laughs> Crackers. You remember? C-R-A-C-K-E-R-S. Crackers. ¿Y galletas dulces? Cookies. Cookies. Very. What do you prefer? Do you prefer cookies or crackers? Cookies. 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 You prefer cookies? I prefer cookies in the morning, you know? Early in the morning. <laughs> With milk, ooh, that's the bomb. How do you say cereal? Cereal. 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 Okay. How do you say uh, pan? Bread. 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 How do you say vegetales? Vegetables. 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 Or vegetables. Veggies. 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 Excellent. How do you say? Oh my god. Okay. How do you say lacteos? Dairy. 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 Okay. How do you say um grasa? Fat. 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 How do you say sal? Salt. 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 How do you say azúcar? Sugar. 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 <coughs> okay. Very Sugar. Good. Very good. Very good. All right. All right. All right. Good job, guys. Good job. You handle a lot of vocabulary. A lot of vocabulary. Okay, so let's go in over this presentation. Let me share with you. Can you see my screen? Can yes, you I can see. Okay, cool.
Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn what count and non-count nouns are. Additionally, you'll learn how to use the expressions some and any. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, How about some sandwiches? Which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. What do you want for the picnic? Hmm. How about some sandwiches? Okay. We have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right. Let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Everyone likes potato salad. Okay, let's go over that conversation. The first thing that I would Oops. like to explain is this concept of count and non-count nouns. A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. So basically any... Sorry about that. Let me just maximize. Okay, uh, let's go over the conversation. Can you see the conversation? Can you see it? Yes. Yes, okay, yeah. perfect. Let's listen and repeat. Let's listen and repeat. Um, what do you want for the picnic? What do you want for the picnic? For the picnic. What do you want for the picnic? What do you want for the picnic? For the picnic? Hmm. How about some sandwiches? sandwiches. How about some sandwiches? How about some sandwiches? How about some sandwiches? Sandwiches. Sandwiches. Some sandwiches. Some sandwiches. Okay. We have some chicken in the refrigerator. Repeat. Okay. We have some chicken in the refrigerator. But we don't have any bread. But we don't have any bread. But we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. And we don't have any cheese. And we don't have any cheese we do have we we don't, have any cheese. don't don't have we don't have any cheese do we have any drinks do we do we have any drinks do we have any drinks no we need some. No, we, no, we need some. some. We need some. We need we some. some. Um, close your lips. Some. Close your lips. We need some. some. We need some. Repeat. Some. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's, let's, get some let's get some lemonade. Let's get some lemonade. 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 Let's all right. Let's get let's get some lemonade. Let's get some lemonade. Okay. Um and let's buy some potato salad. And let's buy some potato salad. And let's buy some potato salad. 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 Potato salad. Potato salad. Sure. 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 Everyone likes potato salad. Everyone likes potato salad. Everyone likes potato salad. Potato salad. Do you have any question about this conversation?
No? Okay. Okay, very well, very well. So here, what we have is a conversation about food, right? And we have some nouns here. Let's practice, okay? Adam and Amanda. Teacher Kalev is going to be Adam and students are going to play Amanda's role. You ready? Teacher Kalev? Yes. 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 Teacher. Yes. What happened? Hello, teacher. What happened, Esmeralda? Hoy se me oye. Ahora sí le escucho fuerte y claro, miss. Oh, uh, thank you. My pleasure, miss. Let's practice. Three, two, one. What do you want for the picnic? What do you want for the picnic? Our bad song mm. sandwiches. About some sandwiches. Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's let's get some lemonade. Unless you buy some potato salad. salad. Um, potato salad. Sure. Everyone likes potato salad. Nice practice. Let's switch the students and start with Adam. Three, two, one, go. What, what do, do you, you want, want for the baby? Hmm. How about some sandwiches? Okay. okay, okay, we have we some chicken kitchen in the refrigerator, but we don't, we don't have bread. And, bread. and we don't have any cheese. Do we have a drink? No, we need some. We need some. Let's get some lemonade. lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. sure, everyone, everyone likes, likes to Excellent pronunciation. Now, now, ¿qué podemos rescatar de esta conversation? Por ejemplo, let's repeat. Let's 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 let's, 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 let's lo usamos para hacer una invitación. Vamos. Yo digo, let's go. Vamos. Vámonos. Vamos. Let's go. Si yo digo, let's buy. Vamos a comprar. Vamos a comprar. Let's, let's. buy. Uh -huh. Let's get. Vamos a hacer una limonada. Let's get. Bueno, el verbo get es como, es como conseguir, es como hacer, es como obtener. Tiene muchos significados. Uh, let's let's get, get some lemonade. Let's get some lemonade. Tomar. Ajá, vamos a, vamos a conseguir, vamos a comprar, vamos a hacer. Eh, bueno, tiene diferentes contextos. Get, tiene como 20 o más usos, guys. Google it, please, Google it. Bueno, también tenemos um, questions about, about food, about drinks, positive and negative examples. Let's continue. Let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. The first thing that I would like to explain is this concept of count and non-count nouns. A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that can be seen around you is a noun. Okay, a noun. Repeat, noun. Noun. Noun, noun is a person. Noun, noun a is place, a person or a thing. 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 Do you understand this? Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay, check in the conversation and tell me tell me the nouns. Tell me the nouns. Sandwich. Sandwiches. That yes. is a noun. Thank you. What else? Drinks. Picnic. Oh, drinks it's a noun. noun. Drinks. Okay. It's a noun. Come on, talk to me. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. It's a noun. Continue, continue, continue. Bread. Bread. Drinks. Drinks, yes. Cheese. Cheese, of course. Potato salad. 
to potato salad. Yes. Lemonade. Lemonade. It's a noun. Chicken. Chicken. Very Good well. job. Good job, people. Good job. You're very intelligent. Okay. Within these nouns, in this conversation, we have two differences. Because one of them are countable nouns. Countable nouns. And the other ones are uncountable nouns. So it's different. Countable nouns, we can count them. For example, sandwiches. Repeat, sandwiches. Sandwiches. I can say two sandwiches. A sandwich. A sandwich. Five with sandwiches. Just for me. <laughs> Just kidding. So you can count. Other one, other one you can count. Other one you can count. Chicken. chicken. Yes, yeah. you can count a chicken. A chicken. Five chickens. Five chickens. Ten chickens. Ten chickens. Okay, another one you can count. Another one you can count. Bread. bread. What? Bread. Bread. Bread, um, not in English. You cannot count bread in English. Let's go to uncountable nouns. Oh, okay. Bread is uncountable, okay? Um, I know in El Salvador, we have the little pieces of bread, but, you know, in English, it's not really countable, okay? Refrigerator. Refrigerator is countable or uncountable? Countable. How about lemonade? Repeat, lemonade. Lemonade. Is it countable or uncountable? Countable. Not countable. Lemonade is uncountable. All the liquids. All the liquids. No countable. Like water, soda. Coffee. Milk, coffee, all of those are uncountable. Por eso es que cuando decimos, um, I drink a coffee, eso está incorrecto. I drink a coffee, porque coffee es una bebida, es un líquido. Es incontable. Entonces usted puede decir, I drink a cup of coffee. Ahí sí, una taza. So, Teacher, pero cuando solo está diciendo que toma café nada más. Ah, ahí sí, ahí sí. Uh -huh. I, pero ahí vas a decir, I like to drink coffee. Uh -huh. I like to drink coffee. Ya okay. si tú dices, yo me bebo un café, tienes que decir, yo me bebo una taza de café en la mañana, etc. Ok. Ok. Good job. So estamos claros ahí con nouns. Entonces acá tenemos countable nouns. And non-countable nouns. For example, countable nouns, an egg. An no, well. egg. Correct. Repeat, an egg. An egg. An egg. An egg. An egg. Y lo unimos acá. Cuando lo decimos, lo unimos. An egg. An egg. And the plural is eggs. An egg. Eggs. Okay. For example, a sandwich. A sandwich. A, sandwich. a, sandwich. a sandwich. And the plural? Sandwich. Sandwiches. 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 Okay. And we have non-count nouns. For example, bread. For example, bread. lemonade. Milk, coffee, tea. Correct. Sandwich. Wow, <laughs> nice, 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 nice. So here we have a specific. We say, I am eating an egg. I am eating an egg. Let's get some bread. Let's get some bread. Okay. In general, for example, eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. So let's continue. We have... Count nouns 
and non count nouns count nouns are those things that you can count as you can see on the chart an egg eggs a sandwich sandwiches we can count Salad. eggs Salad. and sandwiches non count nouns are those things that you can't count because it's impossible to count for example liquids such as water lemonade milk etc on the chart you can see a couple of examples bread lemonade let's take a look at all the examples on this chart some and any count and non count nouns do we need any eggs yes let's get some eggs no we don't need any eggs do we need any bread yes let's get some bread no we don't need any bread count nouns an egg eggs a sandwich sandwiches mm. non count nouns bread lemonade specific i'm eating an egg let's get some bread general eggs are good for you bread is good for you the next important thing to understand is the usage of some and any some and any are used to express quantity i would like to analyze the questions first our first question do we need any eggs when forming questions we may use any or some for example we could also say do we need some eggs our next question do we need any bread ok eh, estamos haciendo la pregunta si tenemos right en existencia eh, explicaba él que uh, podemos usar some or any en las preguntas es más común usar any ok es más común uh, do we need any eggs repeat do we need any eggs do we need any eggs? any eggs eggs any eggs do we need any eggs do we need any eggs do we need do we need any eggs do we need any eggs necesitamos algunos huevos afirmativo yes yes let's 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 get let's get let's some. get some Puedo eh. decir solo, yes, let's get some. Repeat. Yes, yes let's, let's get, get some. some. O puedo decirlo completo. Yes, let's get some eggs. Repeat. Yes, let's get, get some, some eggs. eggs. Si es negativo, en el negativo vamos a usar el any. No, no we don't need we don't any. Need any. Repeat. Eggs. No, we don't need any. No, we don't need any. Need... O podemos completarlo, ¿verdad? Con el noun. No, we don't need any eggs. No, we don't, no, no, we don't, need, don't need any eggs. Remember, remember. In the affirmative, we use some. In the negative, we use any. Otra cosa que hay que considerar. Um, eggs es countable, entonces bread is uncountable, pero vean la pregunta no cambió, la pregunta es la misma para ambos. Este any, right? Do we need any? Usted puede usarlo con contables o incontables para preguntar, right? Do we need any bread? Do we need any uh, apples? Solo que si es contable, tenemos que darlo en plural, como en este caso, ¿verdad? Uh, egg, eggs. Ajá, Edwin. Uh, sí, tengo una pregunta. Eh, mm. Yo sabía de que el any y some siempre son como tipo eh, auxiliares, pero tienen algún significado en específico. Sí, en realidad son quantifiers. Se les conoce como quantifiers porque hablan de cantidad. 
Uh -huh. Cuando tú dices some y cuando tú dices any. Ok. Eh, algunos o ningunos, dependiendo del contexto. Right? Por ejemplo, acá en las negativas, si yo digo, I, we don't need any. No, we don't need any. No, we don't need any eggs. No, no necesitamos ningunos. No necesitamos ningunos huevos. Any eggs. Y some, a las afirmativas, ¿verdad? Sería algunos o algunas. No un número en específico, pero sí en plural. Algunos o algunas. Let's get some. Let's get some eggs. Si yo digo, let's get some eggs. Vamos a conseguir algunos huevos. No, no especifico el número. Ahora, si quieres especificar el número, sí puedes especificar el número y sustituir al sum por el número. Let's buy 20 eggs. Let's buy 10 eggs. Yes? Ok, pero siempre aunque sea positiva y negativa, o solo se pondría en una. ¿Cómo así? Sin o sea, eh, sustituir el sum y el n por un número, no importa que sea negativa o, o positiva la respuesta. Bueno, si es negativa, no necesitarás el número, right? Pero si es positiva, sí. Puedes hacer la sustitución. No problem. Ok, okay. okay perfect, perfect, perfect. Let me see. ¿Qué hemos aprendido este día, chicos? Thank you for your participation. A ver, Esmeralda, que ya puede usar su micrófono. Aprovechemos, Miss. ¿Qué, se le, eh, ¿Qué le pareció a uh, la sesión? ¿Qué ha aprendido este día? Pues en lo que he estado viendo, teacher, en, en Ani y Son, que son también cuantitativos como... How much, how much y how many, que son cuantitativos y no Entra, contativos. Entran ahí, ¿verdad? En los countables ¿Sí? y en los non-countables. Muy bien, muy bien. Thank you so much. A ver, Mr. Ramon, Mr. Raymond. Hello, what, did, what did you like about the class? What did you learn? Um, I learned too much about the countable now and uncountable. Esas cositas a veces hay que, hay que saberla, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, eso lo del noun, que es un noun, y, y luego de dominar qué es, um, y conocer los, los contables y los no contables. Váyanse a Google, ¿verdad? Y pongan ahí countable nouns, y pongan ahí non countable nouns, que les dé una lista, y comienzan ustedes ahí a empaparse de eso, guys. Hay mucha información ahí. De la cual podemos aprender. A ver, Mr. Julio Caridad, one comment, one comment before finish the class. Eh, bueno, voy a decirlo en español, pero me gustó mucho la primera parte donde pudimos hacer eh, el ejercicio de decir qué estamos haciendo, pero creo que es el presente continuo. Me corrijo, pero... Es correcto para eh, situaciones temporales. Exacto, esa parte sí me, me pareció muy bien. Excelente, porque a veces conocemos el tiempo solo para un sentido, pero en realidad lo podemos usar para varios y estamos expandiendo nuestro conocimiento. All right, vamos a ver la última opinión de Mr. Vamos a ver una señorita, Miss Patricia. Beatriz, ponía. One comment. Yes, teacher. For the class, in English or Spanish or in Spanglish, whatever you want. <laughs> Um, about of the general your general opinion about tonight's class uh, for me it's excellent I learning um, a little um, no sé cómo decir poco a poco <laughs> little by little little by little <laughs> o puedes decir step by step uh -huh. Me gusta más así, step by step. Yes, I am learning step by step. I am learning step by step. Siempre vamos a aprender algo nuevo, chicos. Siempre. Así que es un placer. Y antes de dejarlos ir, la asistencia.
advertencia. Oh my goodness. Here it is. <clears throat> bueno. Let me complete. Antes que nada, pues quiero felicitarlos por la participación de este día. Siempre retándolos a que salgan de su zona de confort, ¿verdad? Eh, es la única forma que usted vaya despegando, ¿ok? Eh, para hablar, para hablar, porque eso es lo que queremos, desenvolvernos. Entonces, no me han puesto en el chat nada todavía, creo yo, ¿verdad? De las parejitas. Si no veo ningún chat, pues eh, yo pues con mucho gusto les ayudo a formar las parejas. Ok, sí, so pues me... Ya pusimos nosotros. ¿Ya pusieron en el WhatsApp? Eh, no, sino que aquí en el chat de acá. Es ah, Mónica y en Ay. Mónica Martínez en María Elena. Aquí las apunto, mis perfecto, gracias. Nadie más aparte de ustedes, ¿verdad? Ok. Ok, entonces vámonos acá. Alex Enoch Ramírez Salazar, are you in the house? Douglas Humberto Sánchez Díaz. Present teacher. Edith Adila Hernández Chacón. Present. Edwin Alexis Rodríguez Cortés. Present teacher. Esmeralda Abigail Santos Amaya. Present teacher. Perfect. Irving Joel Morán González. Missing in action. Josué Eduardo Gutiérrez Alguero. Present teacher. Julio César Caridad Valiente. Present teacher. Karen Elizabeth Ramos Aguilar. Present teacher. Laura Guadalupe Fuentes de Meléndez. Present. María Elena Linares Díaz. Present. Mario Alberto Hernández Vázquez. Mónica Marisela Martínez Pineda. Present. Patricia Beatriz Bonilla López. Present teacher. Raymond Antonio Scoto Abarca. Present teacher. Roberto Antonio Ramírez González. And Tatiana Vanessa Escobar Ortiz. Present teacher. You did fabulous tonight. I'll see you tomorrow at 8 p.m. Only Alexis se queda castigado. The rest of you, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you bye. tomorrow, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Good night, everyone. Good night, Peace sweet dreams. Tomorrow. Be safe. Classmates. <clears throat> yes, absolutely. Thank you for your kindness. See you tomorrow. Hello, Mr. Edwin Alexis Rodriguez or Tess. Iniciamos Hello, entonces con tu coaching session. You want to have it in English or in Spanish? In Spanish. Okay, let's switch to Spanish. En general, eh, Edwin, Alexis, cuéntame, um, ¿cuáles son eh, algunas, algunos de tus temores en el idioma inglés? Uh, ¿Qué es lo que más se te dificulta? ¿Qué es lo que más te gusta? Eh, ¿Dónde quieres que te apoye? ¿Algo en especial que necesites? O si me compartes también el por qué estás tomando esta, este gran reto. Pues la verdad es que pues, quería aprovechar un poco más mi tiempo y desde cierto tiempo me está gustando el inglés. Quise practicarlo y lo que sí me cuesta es la pronunciación. Uh, yo puedo ver la palabra y trato de pronunciarla, pero nada que ver. Entonces, ahí sí me cuesta bastante. Lo que hago es escuchar música en inglés siempre, pero la cuestión es que eh, eh, la música en inglés a veces le dan un tanto de tono diferente para que suene con la melodía. Y diría yo que el, mi temor es como el de todos, el... el el, al equivocarse, el error de equivocarse, decir malas palabras o decirlas textualmente. Uh -huh. O sea, tratar de traducir literalmente. Así es, así es. Bueno, Edwin, um, 
respecto a lo que haces para estar conectado, me parece muy, muy buena idea. Una forma de atacar la debilidad de la pronunciación es escuchar música y cantar las canciones en inglés. Eh, muy recomendable es que busques canciones de acuerdo a tu nivel actual. Es decir, en este caso, las que calificarían serían aquellas canciones románticas, aquellas canciones en inglés eh, de los tiempos dorados, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, no porque te guste o no porque eh, la canción sea, ay, que súper romántica. No, vámonos al objetivo de eso, ¿verdad? Que tú vas a, a cantar la canción, no solo ver la letra, no solo escuchar la canción, sino que tú tienes que cantarla. Son tres skills que tú vas a estar atacando ahí. El reading, el listening, and the speaking, because vas, vas a estar ahí pronunciando. Entonces, hazlo de esa forma. Y aparte de eso, vas a mejorar tu pronunciación grandemente y vas a expander tu vocabulario. En las canciones viene mucho vocabulario nativo y cultural, ¿verdad? Así que eh, sigue con esa dinámica. Eh, bueno, en la parte de los errores, eh, creo que el ambiente de estas clases es totalmente diferente a lo que estábamos acostumbrados quizás a experimentar, ¿verdad? Antes, en las clases de antes, donde incluso había bullying, había irrespeto, ¿verdad? Gente inmadura que eh, pues se burlaba de los demás. Aquí estamos en otro nivel, Edwin, y pues todos tus compañeros son profesionales, uh, empleados de empresas, ¿verdad? Muchos de ellos, pues, líderes en sus empresas. Eh, muchos de ellos ya con carreras ya, ¿verdad? Eh, culminadas. Así que eh, estás en el mejor lugar para que te equivoques, ¿verdad? Y yo quiero retarte a que siempre trates de hablarme lo más que puedas usando tu idioma. Tienes que tratar de desconectarte totalmente de, del español. Me alegra ver que tú ya tienes una base. Tú tienes tu conocimiento ya eh, del idioma y no desaproveches esto, Edwin, porque uh, tienes el talento para lograrlo. Veo que la pronunciación eh, sí es un problema inicial, pero no va a ser permanente porque con la preparación tú lo vas a superar. Yo veo que tú puedes gesticular muy bien todos los tipos de pronunciación que hacemos y me he dado cuenta que cuando hemos fallado en pronunciación y te he corregido, tú has sido capaz de pronunciarlo de la forma correcta. Entonces, no hay problema por ahí, solo es cuestión de tiempo. Cuestión de tiempo y de práctica. Así que solamente eso, quiero retarte a que sigas adelante, siempre formando parte de la clase, eh, conectarte puntualmente, tener tu cámara activa eh, y aprovechar de la mejor manera esta beca que tenemos, ¿ok? Ok. No sé si quieres agregar algo más, quieres, necesitas algo de tu servidor, que no sea dinero porque no me han pagado todavía. Va empezando quincena. <risa> No, es que a mí me pagan al mes, yo soy, yo soy pobre sor, soy pobre sor, entonces a nosotros al mes. Bueno, no, ha sido pero... un gusto. Gracias, gracias. Igual. ¿Te sientes bien en el grupo? ¿Cómo te sientes? ¿Tienes alguna queja? No, pues la verdad no, bien, bastante bien, solo que ahí... Este, me gustaría más el hecho de que pues todos encendieran la cámara para conocerlos, porque la verdad nunca la he visto. Es cierto, es cierto. Se les dice, ¿verdad? Que es un lineamiento de Insafor y pues que es un requerimiento. La verdad que eso es un requerimiento de Insafor, al igual que estar participando en toda la clase, ¿verdad? Eso que yo mencione el nombre de alguien y que me dejen en visto, eh, no creas, pues, o sea, no soy yo el que se ve mal, pues, pero eh, acuérdese que hay un uh, patrocinador, no, no es bueno que digamos que estas clases son gratis, eh, no, hay alguien que absorbe el costo de esto, y ese es Insafor, Edwin, entonces, que tú estés aprovechando esto de la mejor manera, eso es como 
ideal para tu récord, ¿verdad? Y estás haciendo honor a la oportunidad que se te está dando y estás representando a tu empresa de la mejor manera. Así que sigamos adelante, no cambies esa actitud que te llevará muy lejos. Y, y una vez que tú ya estés hablando inglés, de tu primer sueldo me invitas a una hamburguesa, ¿ok? Vaya, está bueno, pero no se vaya a perder. <laughs> ok, good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.